Morning, everybody. People are all spotlighting me. Morning. 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 All right. Everybody's slowly making their way. So we got four more minutes until we officially, officially start. Let's see what this looks like today. I feel like. Everyone's making their way in. Cool, cool. All right. All right, three more minutes. So I, we have a couple more minutes before we get started. Um, uh, for those of you who are not familiar with this class, in case you weren't here last week, um, so I'm Erin, um, and this is a power yoga. So if you're familiar with my style of teaching, it's very similar, meaning uh, I call it cardio-esque. We just add in more core work. So um, I will do my best to give you variations and options for the different uh, movements and postures we're going into. They're all yoga poses, uh, but just again, focusing more on strengthening a little bit of that power. Quicker movements, more of that breath to movement flow, um, but building up a wee bit of a sweat. And I am in my gym without air conditioning and it feels like it's already 100 degrees outside. So. I'll probably be panting and sweating myself today. Um, it is a 30 minute class. We go the full 30 minutes um, in this power yoga. I do a little bit towards the end of a little bit of stretching, kind of that little mini final rest. Um, but I would suggest go to the Fit Rec Live website pages or the YouTube channel um, and go do another 30 minute class, whether it's a gentle yoga, or restorative yoga that either Nancy, Joanne, um, who else is in here? Andrea, um, do. So that would be my suggestions after this class or at a different part of the day. Uh, but this is going to be your cardio esque workout of the day. Last reminder, too, um, if you are looking for a little bit more strength building at 1130 today, um, until the end of the month, every day, live on Facebook, Erin A., um, who is a Les Mills instructor, 
um, at FitRec, she's doing live strength building classes that's all about your own body weight. So if you want to add on from this, you're welcome to 11.30 Facebook Live. Now, let's get this party started. Um, all right, so let's get started at the front of your yoga mat. Don't mind me, I have to go sideways to get on this space. Um, we'll stand up in Tadasana, so that standing mountain pose. So let's get set here, finding that groundedness, feet hip distance apart, spread your toes wide, bring those toes back onto the mat, release your arms and neck, side your body, your palms face forward, and sit up nice, your stand up nice and tall. And then allow those eyes to close here for a moment, just getting set into the space. If you'd like to, you can take that gentle rock or sway, creating that circular motion with the body going clockwise and counterclockwise, just to find the gravity in the feet. So finding that length in the spine, lifting up through the crown of the head, eyes closed. We start with three rounds of community breath. We begin with a deep inhale through the nose, fill the lungs. Long, gentle sigh, out of the mouth, release. Two more times, just like that, deep breath in through your nose. Long, gentle side. And one more time, deep breath in. And long, stay out that mouth. Come back to natural breath. Find your focus, your intention for today's practice. Maybe it's just getting through the flow, creating a bit of sweat, staying present in the moment, not letting that mind wander. Maybe it's staying connected. Whatever it is, find a focus point and intention for today. And with your next breath, on an inhale, start to open the eyes, reach those arms to the sky. We're going to a little bit of that side body. Release the right arm down to the side, lift up with that left arm, and then exhale up and over to your right. So we always go slow, we go gently. We focus on that gap in your left shoulder, left hip back, bringing knees up, or take another inhale. You're actually going to find a little bit more space. And on your next breath, let's come back to center, both arms tall. Drop that left arm down to the side, lift up on your right. Exhale up and over to your left. Work that stacking, shoulders and hips. Maybe knees up, take another breath in. Your exhale, a little bit of that deeper stretch. Inhale, come back to center. Let's open the heart, get into those shoulders, cactus arms, elbows down. Spread your fingers wide, spread out, or stretch out those fingers. A little bit of a back bend if you'd like. Hips come forward. If you'd like a deeper opener, elbows closer together behind you. Maybe you take that knees up or drop your head down. Another breath. And now your next inhale, come back to center. Both hands to the sky. With your exhale, flat back. Start to fold forward. Go slowly, go gently, belly round that spine. Very forward, fold in the morning. Start bending off those knees, cuddle them out, one knee the other. Always the option for ragdoll, that gentle sway, right to left side, low back knees. We'll bring ourselves back to center in that forward fold. With your inhale, find your halfway lift, relax back. Stay here for a moment, activate the core already, so navel pressing in. Get the shoulders away from the ears, find length in the neck, front of the head reaching forward, a little bend in the knees if you need it, otherwise feel power, feel strength in those legs, take another breath here. And on your next exhale, fold forward. Let's plant those hands to the back into your first high plank. We all know the rules here. Go options to the knees with the feet lifted. Otherwise, you have the toes on the ball mat of your foot. Take a breath and stare and move with me. Inhale, come forward to the tippy toe. Exhale, back to the ball of the foot. Again, inhale forward. And exhale, back to go two more. Inhale. And exhale, one more. Inhale, come forward, hold it here. Knees to the mat if you need to. Maybe you're challenging yourself today. You're going to try this out. Elbows shoot back. Keep those elbows close to the body as you slowly come down to the belly with control. Top of the feet flat. Your next inhale, start to lift your chest. We're coming into that baby cobra. Easy down at the floor. Top of the feet. Press into the mat. Let's take another breath here. Exhale, come down. Release right cheek on the mat. We're going to go again. Inhale, lift your chest. Baby cobra, if you're feeling into it, press those palms to the mat, get a little bit longer, shoulders away from the ears. If you gaze up and stretch the neck, take another breath. On your next exhale, come back down. Left cheek on the mat, we're gonna go one more time. Inhale, press those palms, low cobra, full cobra, or maybe upward facing dog, press the top of the feet to the mat, lift the thighs. And on your exhale, return back down to the belly. Let's tuck our toes, lift your hips up the mat, 
The first down dog of the day. Give the left those knees one knee the other. Shake your head, yes, no. Maybe turn to take a leg to the sky. And then find that stillness, that strength in your downward facing dog. Spreading those fingers by, cross your palms from that. Hips lifting higher, heels releasing down. Your ears are in between your arms here, so don't just let your head drop in towards the spine. You want length here, all the way through that spine. Stay for another breath. Let's get into our right leg. Inhale, right leg high to the sky. So three leg downward dog, spine length, spine height. Take out with that right heel. Take another breath, we start to stack our hips. Right hip on top of the left. Your heels coming towards your glutes. Always that awareness in your shoulders. Another breath. Inhale, straighten your right leg. Exhale, slowly step that right foot up in between your hands. We're going to take a gentle twist to get us started here. So option to bring that left knee to the mat. Otherwise, keep it lifted. Left hand stays down. Reach your right hand to the sky. Power up that back leg. Bring that back heel forward over the toe. Take another breath. On your next exhale, we're going to switch it out. Right hand comes down on the inside of the right foot. So you reach your left hand to the sky. So again, if you need to, back knee on the mat. Another breath. Exhale, release that left hand down. One hand on either side of that front foot. On your next inhale, lift your chest to your belly. Fingertips hover off the mat. We're already powering up those legs. Take a breath. Inhale, hands to the sky. You're high lunge today. So again, awareness in that back feet. Leg, power it up. Bring that back heel forward. Get deeper in that front knee. Hold it here. Options to stay. We're going to go right into lunges today. On your exhale, bend into that back knee. Have it hover off the mat. Inhale, straighten it back out. We're going for three more. Exhale. And inhale. Two. Exhale. And inhale. One. Exhale. And inhale. Hold it. On your next exhale, gaze up. Challenge that balance. Cactus arms open your heart. Inhale, hands high. Release your hands down, either side of that front foot, step it back, high plank, or if you're challenging yourself, right foot hovers. You do that forward and back movement. Inhale forward to the tiptoe, exhale to the ball. Three more, inhale, and exhale two. Inhale, and exhale one. Inhale, hold it. With control, slowly make your way down to the belly. Both palms of the feet are flat. Your inhale, full breath, or upward facing dog, take a breath. And start that transition back to your down dog. So you can come to your knees first, or maybe roll over those toes. Find that strong down dog. Fingers wide, hips high, heels to the mat, take a breath. Let's get to that left side. Inhale, left leg high. Heels reaching up, toes to the mat. Nice long leg here, take another breath. We're going to stack our hip, left hip on top of the right. Heels coming towards that glute. But again, awareness in our shoulders. Another breath here. Inhale, straighten that left leg. On your next exhale, slowly step. Left foot up in between your hands. Back knees off the mat if you can. We're going to take that gentle twist. Right hand to the inside of the foot. Reach your left hand to the sky. Keep that back leg with some power. Another breath. We switch it out. Left hand comes down on the inside of that left foot. We reach our right hand to the sky. Open up. Take another breath. Exhale, release the right hand down. One hand on either side of that left foot. We're getting set up for next inhale. Chest and belly lift. Fingertips hovering over the mat. Take one more breath here. Inhale, arms to the sky. Finding that high lunge. So again, power up that back leg. Get rid of the bend of the knee. Heel comes forward. Deeper in that front knee. Hold it here. You're going right into that lunge. On your next exhale, bend into the back knee. It hovers. Inhale, straighten. Three more. Exhale. And inhale, two, exhale. And inhale, one, exhale. And inhale, hold it. Challenge yourself, your next exhale, gaze up, cast the arms, open the heart. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, release those hands down. Either side of your front foot, knee step it back, high plank. But you're ramping it up, left foot hovers. Inhale, forward to the tippy toe. Exhale to the ball, three more, inhale. And exhale, two, inhale. And exhale, one, inhale, hold it. Exhale, come down to the belly, top to the feet, go flat. Inhale, lift your chest, over, upward facing dog, stay no more breath. And on your next exhale, return to down dog or tabletop, shake it up. Find your breath. 
We're adding on a little bit more core, starting relatively simply, but if you like to, kind of make it a little bit more restorative, come to tabletop for this. When we're opt out, going to child's pose, with your neck, inhale, right leg to the sky, exhale, right knee, right elbow. We're gonna hold it here for a moment. So we're back in that high plank. Knees touching elbow, foot's hovering off the mat. Take another breath. Inhale, right leg high. We're going to the midline. Exhale, right knee to the midline, and nose. We're crunching it tight. We're gonna hold it here. Another round of breath. Stay with it. Inhale, right leg high. Your next exhale, we cross it. Right knee, left elbow. Again, foot's hovering. Create the connection. Keep breathing. Another breath. Bring that right leg back to center. Kick it high. Release the foot down. Shake it out. All right, left side. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Again, foot's hovering. We're going to stay here. Another round of breath. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left knee to the midline of the nose. Hold it. Foot hovers. Inhale, foot to the sky. We cross it. Exhale. Again, foot's off that mat. Stay with it as you can. Another breath. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, release that left foot down. We're going to stay here just for a breath. Downward dog or tabletop. And when you're ready, on your next exhale, let's start to look up at those hands. So we step, walk, maybe jump those feet up. You're coming back to that forward pull at the front edge of your mat. Your next inhale, find that halfway lift. On your exhale, you pull big toes together. We're coming to chair. A little bit of that space between your heel. Take your hips low. Reach your hands to the sky. Take a breath. All right, I want you to find a gazing spot out on the floor, the wall in front of you. We're going to play with balance a little bit today. Bring those arms in line with your shoulders. Stay here. And then start to bring the weight into the ball out of your toe or the foot into the toes. Heels off the mat. So keep those eyes steady on that gazing spot. We're going to start to sink our hips down towards the floor. Heels stay lifted. We hover here. Get as low as you can and hold it for five, four, three, two, one. We're going up. Start to straighten those legs. Keep the heels lifted. Stay with the eyes steady. Get tall to your toe. Five, four, three, two, one. We're going one more time. Heels are lifted. Bend those knees. Keep those hips low. We get as low as we can. We hover here, heels off the mat. Five, four, three, two, one. One more time, we're going up. Straighten those legs, get tall, to your toes, heels lifted, stay for five, four, three, two, one. Heels down, we reach those arms to the sky. Maybe a little bit of a back bend. On your next exhale, palm touch, hand to heart, take a breath. Uh, take another breath here. We're going to flow through again. Your inhale, reach those arms to the sky, get tall. Your exhale, fold forward. With an inhale, find your halfway lift. On your exhale, we fold, plant your hands, step back. This is where we can make it our own. We'll raise it down dog. We're going to flow through that vinyasa from high plank down to belly. Inhale through, cobra, upward facing dog. And we're all going to meet in downward dog. People tell me we need that variation. Hold it here. So we're going to add in the last core here into our sequence. So when you're ready, bring that right leg up to the sky again. Take a breath. Let's open the hip again. Right hip on top of the left, heel and towards the glute. Inhale, straighten that right leg. When we add in that core work, exhale, right knee, right elbow, high plank. Take another breath. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right knee to the middle of the nose, crunching and tight. Another breath. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, we cross it, right knee, left elbow, hold it here. Another breath. Inhale, right leg high. On your next exhale, step that right foot up. In between your hands, we're coming to that lunge. Gentle twist, left hand to the inside of the foot, reach that right knee to the sky. Again, left knee can be on the mat if you need the support today. Another breath, then switch it out. Right hand to the inside of the foot. Start to reach out the left hand to the sky. Open up the body, open up the heart, the chest, another breath. After release your left hand down, one hand on either side of that front foot. Power up that back leg. Start to lift the chest, the belly, hovering over the leg. Fingertips over the mat, another breath here. Inhale, reach those arms to the sky. High lunge. Get deeper in that front knee, power up that back leg. 
We're lunging it out. On your exhale, bend into your back knee. It hovers. Inhale, straighten. Three more. Exhale. And inhale. Two. Exhale. And inhale. One. Exhale. And inhale. Take a breath. Exhale, open up. Cactus arms. Knees up to the sky. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, warrior two. Back heel on the mat. Slight angle of that back foot. Heels arch alignment. Arm shoulder height. We're gazing over our front fingertips. Take a breath. With that next inhale, straighten your front leg. Palms touch overhead. Exhale, bring it back down. Warrior two. Let's reverse that word. Flip your front palm. Reach up and back. Reverse. Inhale to center. Hands to heart. Toes out. Heels in. We're coming to goddess pose. Let's sway your hips side to side. Release into those hips for a moment. And then bring yourselves back to center. We open to star. Inhale, straighten the legs. Reach those hands to the sky. Exhale, bring it back down. One more time. Inhale, star. And exhale, sink it. Stay here. Knees pressing apart. Sit bones lowering. Shoulders back. Hands at heart center. Stay here, challenging that balance. Again, find a gazing spot. Right heel off the mat. We're going to take four pulses. Inhale, we lengthen up. Exhale, sink it back down. Heels lifted. Three, inhale. And exhale, two, inhale. And exhale, one, inhale. And exhale, right heel down, left heel up, four more, inhale. And exhale, three, inhale. And exhale, two, inhale. And exhale, last time, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lower option, both heels lifted or both heels on the mat. We're balancing, we're staying low for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Heels to the mat. Open those arms. Ooh, sorry. Head to the sky. Start pose. Your next exhale. Bring it back. Warrior two. Arm shoulder height. Deep in that front knee. Flip your front palm. Reach up and back. Reverse your warrior. Inhale to center and bring those hands down. The other side of your front foot. Step that front foot back. Come bring it down. Dive or flow through the vinyasa from high plank. Come down to belly. Your inhale, lift the chest, cobra, upper facing dog. And again, you return back to down dog, shake it out. All right, here we go. One more time, one more step. Let's bring that left leg high, inhale, left leg to the sky. So again, we're adding in that little bit more core here. So just stack your hip first, release left hip on top of the right heel and towards the glutes. Your inhale, straighten that left leg. We're adding in core. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Hold it here, foot hovers, another breath. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left knee to the midline, the nose. Hold it, hover, another breath. Inhale, left leg high. We're crossing it. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Hold it. Inhale, left leg high. And on that next exhale, slowly with control, step that left foot up and in between your hands. Back knees off the mat if you can. Right hand to the inside of the foot. Reach your left hand to the sky, gentle twist. Another breath. And your next exhale, let's switch it out. Left hand to the inside of the foot. Right hand reaches to the sky. Open up. Another breath. On your next exhale, right hand down to the mat. One hand on either side of that front foot or getting set up. You are in the lift your chest, your belly. We're hovering off the leg. Fingertips off the mat. Another breath. Inhale, hand high. Why do you have high lungs? Power up that back leg. Bring that back heel forward, deeper in the front knee. If you can, lunge it with me. Exhale, bend into the back knee, hover. Inhale, straighten three more. Exhale. And inhale, two. Exhale. And inhale, one. Exhale. And inhale, hold it. Your exhale, knees up, cactus arms, open your heart. Inhale, hands high. We're going to open a warrior two. I right? said, oh, there you go. Warrior two. <laughs> so when you're ready. Again, heel the arch line, deep in that front knee, arm shoulder height. Let's take a little breather. Inhale, straighten that front leg, palm touches overhead. Exhale, come back down. Hold it. Flip the front palm. Reach up and back. Reverse the warrior, maybe gaze up. Another breath here. Inhale, come back to center. Bringing those hands to heart, toes out, heels in. Come back to God. Spray those hips side to side. Release. Bring yourselves to center. We're opening the star. Inhale, straighten those legs, reach the arms to the sky. Maybe face up. Exhale, bring it back down. You do that one more time. Inhale, open star pose. On your exhale, bring it back down. Sink it low and stay here. So 
those shoulders, bring them back. Sit bones nice and low, knees pressing apart. Hold it here, or again, working on balance, right heel off the mat, four pulses, inhale. Exhale down, three more, inhale. Exhale, two, inhale. Exhale, one, inhale. Exhale, switch it out. Right heel down, left heel up, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, same three, inhale. Exhale, two, inhale. Exhale, one more, inhale. Exhale, option, both heels lifted or both heels on the mat. You choose, we're going for four more pulses. Both heels off the mat if you can, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, come down, keep those legs steady, inhale. Exhale, come down, two, inhale. Exhale, last time, inhale. And exhale, hold it here, as low as you can, heels as high as you can, hold it for five, four, three, two, one, heels to the mat, open the star. Your next exhale, bring it back to your warrior two, heel to arch, deep into that front knee. Let's lift that front palm, reach up and back, reverse your warrior. And on your next inhale, come forward, part of those hands down, step that front foot back, your choice, reach down dog, or flow through that vinyasa, down to the belly, lift the chest, cobra, upper dog, exhale, <laughs> come back. The downward dog. Take a breath here. Tabletop if you need it. Child's pose if you hate me. So take another breath. When you're ready, we're going back to the front edge of your mat. If you gaze up at those hands, step, walk, jump your feet forward. But then we're going to take a seat. We're working to boat pose or onto those sit bones. Boat pose is super fun. You have variations here. So this is a balance again on the sit bones. Option one is to kind of wrap your arms underneath the legs for support. And start to lift. Maybe it's just feet heels off the mat today. Or can you lift those toes off the floor? Can you bring your feet in line with your knees and flex the feet? So again, you can do this with support, the arms underneath the legs or hands. If you're feeling fancy, arms off to the side. If you're feeling like a rock star, you're just straighten those legs, turning a V-shape. I'm just feeling fancy today, so I'm not going full throttle. So you do you. Chest is lifted. We're bringing that chest up to the legs. We're holding it here. Let's stay for kind of 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly shift forward, place your hands down to the other side of the hips, and then take a gentle swing of your knees right to left side. We're gonna go one more time. We're gonna work from high boat to low boat, so I'll show you that in a moment. Once it's as sweaty as hard as it gets today. So bring yourselves back to center. Option is yours. You wrap those arms underneath your legs. Hands, or if you're going for it, arms off to the side. When you're ready, feet up, arms off to the side. Underneath those legs, rock starter. You're straightening those legs in a shape. But hold it up, high, boat, and we're in the low boat. So on your exhale, come down. We hover off the floor. Legs are touching, upper back not touching. And on your next inhale, come back up to your boat pose. If you'd like, hands underneath your legs. We're going to help you out here. So on your exhale, come back down to low boat. Your inhale, come back up. We only have three more. Ready? Exhale. And inhale up. Two. Exhale. And inhale up. One more. Exhale. Low over. Hold it. Cover for five, four, three, two, one. Release everything to the mat. Take a breath. Feel the burn. Feel the sweat. You need water to towel off. Feel free to do that here. And slowly when you're ready, you hug your knees into your chest. Take a gentle rock or sway side to side. A circular motion with those knees going clockwise or counterclockwise if that's what feels for you. And then bring the soles of the feet onto the mat. Fingertips can brush the back side of your heels. You're going to flow through just a gentle few rounds of bridge pose. So when you're ready, Hands are going to go with us. On your inhale, lift those hips to the sky. Reach your arms up and overhead. Back that the hand, push the floor behind you. And on your next exhale, bring your hips to the floor and hip your hands are going to come with. So we do that three more times. Inhale, hips to the sky, arms up and overhead. And on your next exhale, lower your hips, lower your palms. Two more times, your breath, your pace. Inhale, hips high. And on your exhale, we lower. And one more time through. Inhale. And 
exhale. As you come back down, hands to the floor, you take that gentle sway of your knees right to the left side, releasing your low back. And then bring your knees back to center. Let's go ahead and cross our right ankle on top of our left knee. And you start here by pressing your right knee away from you. So pigeon pose. This is always that more restorative option if you ever need it. Um, you can come to more through in that forward fold of the knee. So stay here. But then we're going to take a twist with these eagle, or sorry, pigeon legs. So arms off to the side in the T-like position. And then slowly let your legs fall over to the right side. Keep the ankle on top of your knee. You can breathe over your left shoulder, that gentle twist in your neck. We're here for just another moment. You're feeling that lengthening all on your left side. Keep that left shoulder down, firm on the top up. Another breath here. And your next inhale, let's slowly come back to center and cross the knee from the knee. We'll switch sides. Left knee on top of your right knee. Start by pressing that left knee away from you. So right now we're opening up that IT band, that glute in the back of the left side. So now we need to take the twist. We're getting into our right side body. When you're ready for the twist, arms again off to the side to like position, and then let your legs fall over to the left. Your gaze can be over the right. Again, feel like a little twist in the neck, gaze over your right shoulder. Another moment here. And then slowly bring those knees back to center, uncross the angle from the knee. Any final movement you need, hug the knees back into the chest, maybe have a baby pose, grabbing for um, inside of the legs, so grab the outside of the calves, ankles, maybe big toe, knees to the outside of your body. Just any final movement that you typically do in your practice that you need or feel like you need here. And then we'll give ourselves one more big squeeze. So hugging those knees into your chest. Maybe if you can, bring the forehead up to meet your knees. Final big hug. And on your next exhale, let's begin to release our bodies, legs into so long, arms next to the body, upper back connected, low back release, feet naturally dropping off to the side, and eyes are closed. So just notice how you're feeling in this moment. Feeling ramped up for the day, feeling powerful from our power yoga. Or maybe just feeling a little bit connected. You're able to let go of that to do list in the mind because you were too busy flowing through your little yoga this morning. Try to keep that sensation with you throughout the day. Allow yourself time and space to come back to you. There's moments where you feel overwhelmed or anxious. Use your breath to help release the body and calm the mind. Go ahead and take a final round of community breath here together. Let's begin with our exhale. Start to empty your lungs. Take a deep inhale through your nose, filling the lungs to the top. We're going to take an extra sip of air. Hold the breath. And then that long, gentle sigh out the mouth, release, let it go. Good rest here. Feeling the rise and the fall of our breath. Allowing yourself to just focus on the rise and fall. And then slowly coming back to the present moment. We're going to wiggle our fingers and toes. We reach those arms up and overhead. And it's that full body stretch. And then however you'd like to get there, whether it's rolling up to one side, just make your way back up and take a comfortable seat. Taking uh, two cross on an easy seat, one foot in front of the other, or maybe half lotus. Let your hand press on your legs, finding that extra length in the spine. Sitting nice and tall, and ending our class by bringing our palms to meet at heart center. The light in me fully honors, respects, and appreciates the light in each of you. Namaste. So, as always, great to start a sweaty Tuesday morning with you all. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll unmute us. Feel free to. Oh.
Um, I think you guys are all on mute now for the most part. Uh, feel free to ask. Otherwise, again, 11.30 today, Facebook Live, Aaron A is on for some um, sweaty weightlifting, body weightlifting. Um, and then I'll be back next week. Thank you. You're welcome, guys. Have a good day. Thank, Thank you, Aaron. You're welcome. Bye, friends. Aw. Miss you. I know. You too, guys. Yeah, I miss you too. Have a good day.